Previously on Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door. Alright, guys, we're about to go to the blimp and. Oh. Wait. I'm afraid of ice. No! I don't want to do this! Get me off this thing before it crashes! Now, on Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door. Continuing. Hey everybody, it's Attorney at Laws, we're back from our Paper Mario TDYD. Hey, hey everybody, it's Attorney at Laws, we're back from our Paper Mario Chapter 3! Word. Alright, here we begin, Chapter 3. Oh, glitz and glory. Pepsi burp. <sighs> Alright, so I'm gonna pause so I can just zoom this out. Alright, here we go. We are entering the floating town of Glitzman. In a sec. Whoa, they must like totally know I'm coming because like they're having a party there. All right, Glitzville, and over there we see a shine sprite that we cannot get right yet, because it's too high for our puny little arms. Glitzville. Um, yeah, it's me, Glitzville. All right, how to make it flow? I mean, it has never, you know, plunged from the sky or anything, has it? <clears throat> no, wouldn't this place be like unaffected from the earth roaring and shaking part? So, I mean, technically, the only place I'd be safe from the Cataclysm would be Glitzville. Time to turn down that Christmas star, huh, Mario? I know I'm ready. Wanna well, stay up and stay up and stand and come on. Alright. Here we have a very suggestive-looking pair of rocks. But instead, we can just do this and get the strength, right? But look at that rock. That uh, rock formation. It's either flipping us off or trying to imitate something. Okay. This is Gold Bob. Uh, I can't remember her name and Bub. Bub is a bomb. And I'm a hot dog! This is not bad as being a banana. I'm a banana. I'm a banana. I'm a banana. Hey, we get a payphone! The local time is now. Snack time? Huh, who are you? Prank calls are uncool. Well, to me, they're cool. And you got this gangster Lakitu hanging out with a toad. I guess she's a gold digger or something, because I don't know why I should be hanging with him. Alright, here we got a big switch. Here we got a pop stop! And we get stairs. Oh, I was talking about the stomp. Uh, if you do it on an enemy, like outside of battle, you get to do the. Uh, spin jump without using any FP. We got Power Plus Parker Badge and use Coops right here. We get a Star Piece. Alright, this seems for later, it's just for flying for now. It's kind of cool, I guess. Alright, let's go, Coops. Just save. I said let's save! Alright, so with the s spin jump, you get to find any hidden Star Pieces in the ground. They're like tiles. Uh, I think there's one around here. Maybe not. Uh, there it is. I was just flying from the seat of the pants for that one. I totally forgot there was a star piece there, but alright. Alright, alright. All right. I forgot about that one too. Okay, three star pieces in one thing and a strength sprite. I guess you already know why I love this plus, alright. Here we have a red chain chomp, which is also cool because Paper Mario 4. There's a confirmed Chain Chomp partner, which has no actual thing, it's just an actual Chain Chomp. At least with Goombella and Goombario, they had like a hat and stuff like that. And with Koops, they had just a hoodie and a bandage. Alright, a bulky bob -omb and a regular bob -omb. Chicken. Chicken. A Magic Koopa. Three Goombas. Why do you always glitch jump? Uh, here's Miss Mouse. Well, hello, Mr. Mustache. We meet again. Koops doesn't say anything on the matter, because that'd be cheap. PINEAPPLE! Let Spongebob go! Hey, is this the same kid from Pellberg? Hey, Mr. Mustache Guy, where's Prince Mush? Nope. Because this one's are not addicted to video games. Alright, we enter through here. To go see, let's go see a fight. And in this corner, it is Koopa Troll versus KFC! KFC! 
KFC! KFC! Where'd I put my Pepsi? There it is! Whoa, this place is so cool! Hey Mario, look up there. There's a battle match going on right now. A battle match? That's like... A double standard. It's a battle or it's a match. That's right! Ugh! I think it's about time for you. Feel the rock! Hey! You jumped on a spiked enemy! That is against Paper Mario Law! Stay down, pincushion! You won't want more of this! Why do you even show up? Yeah, you heard me talking, wimpy! Stay out of the ring and feel the burn, baby! Tell you what, do about a million push-ups and come see Uncle Rock Hawk. Whatever, KFC. Or even another world-class spanking and send you crying over to Mom again. Holy champ, that was great, eh? Whooping. Your thoughts on the match? You call that a match? Ain't there a fighter out there who can challenge me? No, no one can. Hear me? Ain't a fighter out there that can even make me sweat. Well, if someone says that, that means automatically we're gonna fight him later in the game. They're all a bunch of little crybabies running around sticky diapers. You've got a bone to book, pick. Bum to puck. But come fight me, bring it, I'll take on anyone. You weekly might as well stick to video game fighting, okay? Cause I'll hurt you. Yeah, number one, baby. Rock Hawk is the champ. Ha 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 ha. What are you a pirate? I thought you were KFC. Whoa. Let me see that Mario? See on the shiny belt. Is that the belt itself's not shiny, it's the crystal star, it's the gold star. Yeah, yeah, it's gotta be. The sparkle's a crystal star. That sparkle. Okay, I guess we're calling it a sparkle now. Um, but that doesn't make sense, much sense. Why would it be on that guy's belt? Cause it's pretty! And all pretty men know sparkle equals awesome. Boy, I don't know, Mario. It's not like we just steal that guy's belt. Uh, yeah, we can. Oh, can we? Watch me move here. Steal that thing! Um, listen, Mario, I think the world of you, but really, we can't do that. It just wouldn't be right. The way I see it, we have no choice. Well, uh, we just tell them it's for the fate of the world. You gotta fight your way to the top and win that belt, Ferris. You gotta- wait, what do you mean I have to? You do all the work! So I guess we better get started. There must be a novice sign up somewhere. My tummy's getting upset. Let's find that guy in charge before I lost my alert nerve. Hey, Pumpkin! Where's the guy in charge? Yo, out of the way, pal. I haven't two stories and nobody sorry. Move to losing. Fag. Alright, hey you. Where are the novice sign ups? What's that, bub? You wanna become a fighter? Mm. Well, if you're serious, better go meet with Miss Grubba, the promoter. Miss Grubba's office is just down the hallway. You can't miss it. Hit on through. You guys look all the same. We should save. Alright. Hey, buddy, do you know where the, the room is? This is a major league lock room, bub. Sorry, you can't go in there. Fine, dirtbag. Ooh, this room looks. This door looks official. What's that? You want to be a fighter, bub? Oh, all right. Go on in. Mr. Grubba's just inside. Tuba Bluba! Whoa, in tarnation, I do. Son, who let you in? This is Grubba's office. Yep, that's me, Grubba. And you're one rude dude coming in without knocking. Yes, this is Grubba. He's, uh, like, MC or whatever. A wrestling. Of this place, he is a clubber, but without a club, he's so he's grubber. He's a country boy living in the city of Detroit. Yeah, totally screwed up that song. What now? An athlete, huh? You want to be a fighter? If jumping on people's heads counts as a sport, all right. Oh, wait, that don't change a thing or two, son. I always get out for an up and comer. Yep, this place is packed with the Jill. The Jills. The Gills with young fighters all primed and are ready to go. I gotta say, son, you're a bit skinny for me, Tace. I'm willing to give you a shot. Now play me straight, son. You want to live in the glamorous life of a champ, don't you? Darn skippy! All right, now right, son. I hear where you're coming from, loud and clear. When I was just a poor pup, I didn't give a pokey's patoot for a big fancy city ways. But I jumped into the world martial arts and fought my way to fame and riches. And you know what I realized? Being rich and fi being rich and famous, being rich and famous is diggity dang dynamite. Now I can't mix up in the ring no more, but I earned enough to set me for life. You read me here, son. Dreams do come true, even if they ain't yours exactly. Yep, that's the key, son. Dream big and you'll get big. That's the winner's way. And when you make it big, you'll look back at all those small dreams and laugh. You read me here, son? Oh, huh? What? Yeah, sure, whatever. That's the spirit, chief. Here, let's hear a little walk and talk. Come on now. I don't want to walk. Can we just talk in there? 
Locked door. That base my bed's made out of wood, right? You know that? Now how you like this part? Just feast your eyes and go on. This is the champion's room. In this side, Deluxe! You become a champ, son, you get the key to this room. But the bed is made of wood. How is that comfortable? That ain't all, of course. That's on top of the big money and screaming fans. Yeah, no doubt about it, son. Apply yourself get a life of wealth and comfort awaits. If I get this, I'm gonna change the bed. Now, uh, here we have the Major League Locker Room. A lot of contenders here. Let's see a Hammer Bro, a Dark Koopa, a Spiny, Spike Top, I mean, Koopa Patrol. What you think, son, huh? Not exactly glamorous, but it's clean and comfortable. It's totally sanitary, too, maybe in an old fashioned, but I care about my fighters, darn it. Why, that's very nice of you. Now, I'm sure you know this already, son, but there ain't no one but world champion. Claw on your way to the top and taking the belt to become champion ain't the easy thing. But that's one point, son. Wouldn't be worth it if there were no challenge. I can see you got the fire for it too, pard. Yeah, you got the eye of the tiger there. You're gonna be cheap. I can just feel it. I ain't never been so sure about a fighter. Why, thank you, Mr. Grubba. I like someone who can understand my feelings. Oh, hey, one other thing. You gotta sign a little itty bitty contract to be a fighter. It ain't no thing. Just take a second or two of your time. Just jot your name here, okay? Sign me up. You sign the contract. Best thing you've done, my son. Now you're Mario. Ain't a bad handle. Still, I gotta say, pardon, Alex a little punch is a fighter's name, get me? I wanna be Rufus! Let me see here. BAM! Holy, I got it! From now on, you're gonna be the Great Gonzalez! Who ain't that of you? Who, oh, me? Dang, if that stroke of genius ain't now, comes around once in a lifetime. Yep, everyone will soon bow before the Great Gonzalez! That can be proud, son. Before when I first played this game, I thought I Great Gonzales. Yeah. Well, now that we got the business out of the way. Jolene, can you come in here a minute, darling? Business Toad! Yes, sir. You wish to see me? Wait! Was that just the evil glasses twitch? She is the boss of Chapter 3! Sure did, hon, Jolene. This is our great Gonzalez, our newest riding star. Be a peach and take him on down to the minor league locker room, alrighty? Minor league? We didn't see no minor league locker room. Right away, sir. Mr. Gonzalez, if you would be so kind, please follow me. Oh, well, I guess if it's... Minor, it shouldn't be too different from the major. I mean, it's, he said he cared about his fighters. I mean, it should be clean and, as you know, a country the fighter now, so you must abide by some rules. First and foremost, what Mr. Grubba says goes. Period. You must do what he says. Also, as per your contract, you cannot quit until Mr. Grubba releases you. There are many, many other small guidelines I'll explain as they come relevant. Can't wait to see my room, guys. What the hell is this? Oh, here we are. This is your locker room. This is a piece of shit! You're starting in the minor league, of course, so you're just starting your career. If you don't like the distinction, you know, I'll just like work, work your way through the ranks. This place is a piece of crap! I thought he cared about his fighters! When you're ready to fight, just like in the computer terminal here. This girl below that decide who will match against, but no saying this. Why don't you just try it once, walk over the screen, log in with A. And then pick a reserve match. Alright, but... Let's just meet the people first. Alright, this is Bandy Andy. Hehehe, <laughs> I do believe I'll go out for my regular stroll soon. He's a bandit guy. Relative of the awesome shy guy. This is Kleptor. Grat, mustache is a fighter. And this is... I don't want to mess up on his name, so I'm gonna... That's Master Crash. Alright, he's Master Crash. If you have any questions, feel free to BOOM! Ask me. I outrank you after a BOOM! Russian. And this is King K. Take care of yourself, dog. Don't make any rookie mistakes, you know what I mean? Alright, Jolene will go sign it off for this crappy locker room. Okay, how does that footprints on the locker? Welcome to this automated master reserve reservation system. What is your command? Let's just view the rankings real quick. You need to know this now, but your current rank is 20th, the very lowest rank. Now select reserve a match. Okay, jeez. Bitch. Reserve a match. Well, howdy, Gonzalez. What are your first best sturdy, huh? There you go, son. I got a treat for you. Your first battle team against Goomba Brothers. Don't you worry about them. They'll be a piece of cake. Just mop them up, okay, son? Hey, you want to get everyone fired up, so I'll appeal to the crowd at least once. Got any questions about detailed rules? Just ask the lovely Miss Olene, okay, son? Well, good luck, pard. Yeah, Scrubble's gonna make you, uh... It's gonna make you do at least one condition in each battle. Like, I have to appeal once to the crowd, or else you won't be able to go up. 
Play these creatures basically. Team charge the opponent's creatures first to your wins. If an opponent who ranks above you, your ranking will go up. Then again, if you lose your wrong ranking opponent, your ranking will go down. Simply winning is not enough. When Mr. Gover sets fight conditions, follow them. In that case, the kids should appeal to crowd at least once. Fairly easy. If you satisfy condition, you 